It was a wonderful, special, unique day, full of so many different emotions, I think. And so to have this concert tonight as a, as a, as a pinnacle uh, of celebration over the weekend, um, sort of letting the hair down. Now all the, all the serious stuff's out the way, you can just party. And tonight is a real, is a real party, there's a real sense of it being a confection of, of uh, different strands of the arts, of performance. Um, and all the things that uh, mean so much to His Majesty. Uh, I'm thinking also of uh, environmental issues, which will be, which will come up tonight, as well as his love for the arts. And um, and everybody, I think, will be having a great feeling at the end with a fantastic finale. So what does it mean for you personally to be here today, part of this whole coronation? historic moment? Well, for me to be here as part, as part of the festivities, I suppose, it's a, it's a, it's a real honour, it really is, and I get to see some of my favourite acts very close up, so that's even better. <laughs> Watching Take That rehearse this afternoon was pretty good. <laughs> and what, this is, this is a, reading about it and here listening to you, it's like a very inclusive, eclectic, uh, you know, United Colors kind of event. What does it, what makes it so special? Because it's a very unique and both entertainment and historic moment. Well, it is. A, it's a. It is a unique historic moment. You know, the the. Um, this concert tonight in particular. Yes, it is a unique moment uh, to have a concert such as this on, on a coronation uh, weekend. I don't know if there was a coronation concert in 1953, but uh, but this is uh, this is pretty special. Um, and I think to be here today in Windsor Castle, which is obviously the you know the, the home of the royal family and has been. Uh, for you know, 950 years, and to have a celebration here, but not just a celebration, but a, a sort of pointer to all the things that make the fabric of our culture so strong, the diversity of artistic interests from dance to music to uh, fine art uh, to design um, to writing, as well as our absolutely essential care of the environment, all of these things the, the, the King has been passionate about for decades. and. Uh, I think people are now realizing quite what a what a how much in the forefront he has been of so many causes. Um, but tonight is about celebration as well as marking, uh, you know, a, 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 a tremendous start to his his reign and um, a new chapter in the life of Britain. And uh, you know, these events sort of reflect and define who we are. And tonight you're seeing a huge cross section of of artistic expression. Which is who you know, which is what Britain is at the moment, and that's exciting. As well as having international stars like Katy Perry and Lionel Richie, that does that you know that doesn't hurt either. <laughs> Are you nervous? And I mean, how do you feel about your performance? And oh well, I'm hardly performing. I'm just really just staring up yeah. and saying, "Look at these guys." Uh, so my job is relatively straightforward. But uh, no, I'm I'm excited to meet you know so many of uh, my heroes. As I say, everything from Take That to uh, Andrea Bocelli. Um, I mean, I'm pretty much in the in the next door dressing room to Andrea Bocelli and uh, Sabrina Turvel. So that's pretty exciting. No, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a great spectrum of uh, of the arts of which I'm a I'm a part. So I'm thrilled. And